All right, so this program is going to write this uh, word game program. And let's see here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to read through it and then we'll, uh, we'll write it together. It says, word game, write a program that plays a word game with the user. The program should ask the user to enter the, of the following, his or her name, his or her address, uh, age, the name of, the f of a city, the name of a college, a profession, a type of animal, a pet's name. After the user has entered these items, the program should display the following story, inserting the user's input into appropriate locations. So there once was a person named, so this is what the word game is going to end up coming like. So there once was a person named name. So we're going to have a variable name who lived in city. And that's the city that I lived in. At the age of age, name went to college at college. Okay, so it's going to print out this whole long string, and these are going to be your variables. So name will go with this, city uh, will go with this, age, age, okay, and so on and so forth. So um, uh, let's see here. What are we trying to do? Um, we are trying to display um, a paragraph with variables, okay? So nouns are, the, are, are person, place, or things. So these are the, the name of your program. So word game will be the name of our program. But then we have, um, let me think here, our, our verbs, whoops, I messed that up. Our our verbs are going to be. Oops, I didn't want to save that. Um, let's see here. That's better. I I'm actually just not even gonna go in. I'm not gonna do this right here. I'm actually just gonna write the program out. So, um. This is what I've created already in the past, but I'm gonna start and then I can copy and paste some stuff. So I'm gonna say new project and we'll say next and I'll call this word game. Let's call it word game 11 and we'll call it main. <clears throat> so when we fill this out in class, um, the nouns are person, places, or things. So when you see the word game, that's a thing. Um, that's going to end up being the name of our program, okay? Uh, other things, name, age, city, college, profession, animal, name, or pet's name. These are also nouns, and these are going to be your variables. So your nouns end up being your variables, okay? Um Verbs, we're just going to display this. So right now we're just going to say display and then we're going to display the word game. Um, but when you when 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 you read these, you're going to say, well, Seely, this is a this is a verb, right? Uh, program is a noun. Um, plays. These are all verbs, and there's more verbs and nouns when when you're reading a program description it's up to you to figure out what nouns and what verbs are important okay you're always going to write a program so the word write wouldn't be a verb that you would want to use program you're always writing a program program is probably not going to be one of your variables that you're going to use you want to use variables that will be used in your program and so well let's let's do this so word game uh, name, age, uh, city, college, um, profession, um, animal type, and pet's name. Those would be all things that we want to use. And, and the program description should kind of tell us what we're, what we're going to do, okay? Verbs in here, when we first start, it's just going to be like display and then whatever it is you're going to display because um, it's going to display the following story, all right? Uh, but things like story, 
that's a noun and I could write all these down these are the only ones we're gonna use though story is probably not gonna be used inserting like that's definitely a verb but we're not going to do that okay um, so let's get let's let's create this so I created word game uh, 11 and right here I'm gonna right click and say new Java class and I'm just gonna call it word game so I'll say finish and let's get into here a little bit um, I'm going to delete this and kind of clean up a little bit. All right, so it, it, later on in the semester, we'll get better at uh, entering in information in here. But when we write this, remember, section A is the class name, so we'll say word game. And then I always say the object should just be the class name plus my in front of it. So I say my word game equals new word game. And you can look at your programming skeleton to, to, to see how this works, okay? And we'll say my word game. Um, so this is would be section A, then B, then C. This is section D on that programming skeleton. And then section E will just be display word game, okay? Um, so there's an error here because we haven't created this method yet. But this is what it's going to do. It's going to display the word game. And then in here, um, I'm actually going to just do a bunch of copying and pasting. Um, uh, let's see here. We've got our variables, and I'm going to copy these in and then talk about them. So your variables always go below the class header. And we have a string. Now a string is just anything inside quotes. And we have an integer. An integer is a whole number because um, like age you're not you know little kids will be like I'm three and a half or whatever but an adult would just give you their age which is always going to be a whole number uh, again name city college profession animal and pets name these are all strings uh, again string is just anything inside of a quote so I'm gonna copy this and we'll go through this together um, All right, so we've got display word game, and that goes away. And so I put my name in. You guys can put your names in, okay? So name, Mike Seeley, age is 40, city centennial, college CU, profession teacher, animal. Uh, I just put dragon, and pet's name is Charizard, just because my kids are into Pokemon right now. So that's what I thought of when I wrote this program. Uh, now we've got our print LN. So it says there once was a person named and then name. Okay. And so all I'm doing is just there once was a person and then I'm adding, this is called concatenation. Uh, the word concatenation, just look at this real quick, concatenation. So if we do our Latin roots on this, we've got, um, concat and that means to bring together okay so to concat to concatenate is to bring together all right well what are we bringing together we're using the plus symbol to add this plus our name so it'd say there once was a person uh named mike seeley and then we add in who lived in centennial and then there's a period okay uh, the, then the same thing goes down here at the age of 40 comma Mike Seeley went to college at CU Mike Seeley graduated and went to work as a teacher uh, then then Mike Seeley adopted a uh, dragon named Charizard they both lived happily ever after so if I run this Okay, remember, um, the program jumps into main at first. It does that automatically just by how everything's set up. It jumps in the main. 
it creates my object my word game from the word game class and then once I have my object my object can use the methods inside the word game class so it calls display word game uh, in here it defines my variables that I'm going to use and then it, it it displays everything in here so uh, it, it I assign my variables and then I just display them out right here and so I end up getting this okay so spend some time you'll have to probably pause this video and copy and paste but um, you know we're starting to look at variables we'll get more deeply into it next chapter with our scanner class but right now we're just assigning variables uh, using the equal symbol and assigning data to them and we're displaying those variables and we're using concat string concatenation to do that so um, this video should be done let's log